I'm on that side of Australia where the sun sets over the ocean. Have you worked it out? Western Australia, right? And this is one of their great dog-friendly beaches and there's dogs and people everywhere and this is a quiet day. But I'm here to meet Charlotte and I reckon that's her just there. And she tells me her dog, Wilson, has got a bit of a problem. Charlotte, come out of that water. I've already got wet feet. Now, Wilson loves the water. Yeah, he does love the water and this is his favourite beach, so we bring him down here all the time, but the problem's back at home in the bath. In the bath? Yeah. Well, let's not muck about. Let's go home and we'll check out this bath time. Charlotte started off bathing Wilson in her own bathtub, but she had so much difficulty and Wilson was so anxious that she has switched to using a mobile dog wash. Although, this is not really solving the problem either. What happens when it turns up? As soon as Wilson sees the Hydra bath, then he starts running away, does not want to get in there. Come on, come on, come on, get bath. He's very strong, yeah. he's starting to get bigger, so I've got him on the lead and he's just dragging me back up the stairs. He's a strong dog. He is. Very strong dog. Especially when he's scared. Wilson, you want a treat? Treat? We've tried the treats um, and they sort of work to a little bit of an extent, but not very well. We still can't get him to relax. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, who's a big sookie? Do you finally get him into the Hydra bath? We got him in in the end, but it took a lot. We picked him up. Um, a lot of the time, it's a two-man job. All right, sweetheart. Here we go. Come on. He's very timid, and he needs attention from me the whole time that he's in the bath. Why do you think he's sort of frightened of getting in here? The noise would be a factor, I'd say. Um, but before the tap's even on, obviously, he's still terrified. He took one look at this, one look at die, and that was it. What you like it, Mr. Whippy, son? Oh, that looks like the best dog ice cream I've ever seen. Thank you, my friend. I like to reward dogs when they've done the right thing. But we'll get him out of the bath and then reward him. OK. Good oh. boy. Wilson. Look here. Wilson. What's Dr. Harry got? Wilson, here. Good boy. Oh, oh good yeah. boy. He's a world record, Mr. Whippy Eater. <laughs> but the ice cream's not going to solve the problem for us. I've set up an experiment, right? I'm going to put some food in here and I'm going to gradually fill this with water. So take a look at this, right? Is this dog frightened of what's going on here? Or do you think he's actually enjoying it? If you look really closely, he'll blow bubbles underwater. What is the difference between this and the bath? He can easily get out of this. Yes. The hydro bath, he definitely can't get out of. And the bath in the bathroom, he sort of finds difficult to get out of as well, so. So if you were placed in that situation, how would you feel? Trapped. Because that's how I'd feel too. And that's how the dog feels. If you put the hose on him now, I'll see what his reaction to it is. Good. So once he had a treat in his mouth, he didn't mind, did he? This dog is not frightened of water. He's frightened of being confined and maybe slipping, like your bath. If you treat him, you could wash him on the lawn without ever going anywhere near a hydro bath. Well, that'd be a very simple solution to bring him out here and um, just use the hose to wash him down. Initially, he'd want treating all the time, and you'd just really back that off and back that off and back that off. And eventually, I think, you probably wouldn't need to use it at all. Mm -hmm. That's my feeling. That'd be great. I always have a lead on for a bit of control, but that's about it. Well, well Dr. Harry, a treat for you. <laughs> I'm on my way. Let me know how you get on, OK? Thanks, Harry. Oh, big ball. No, I've been wet many times today. <laughs> <laughs>